My name is Cadet Thomas Woodbury, and I'm your color commentator for today's demonstration. In the next few minutes, I'll narrate how the skydive is going to work, the weather report, and my personal favorite, announcing the jumpers as they land. So, without further ado, let's get to it. It's a beautiful day for a skydive, and a beautiful day to beat Louisa, Louisiana Monroe. Ladies and gentlemen, and the jumpers are out. Our jumpers today are doing what is called a 5-5, five and five, meaning the jumpers will wait 5 seconds after the previous jumper to exit, and then wait 5 seconds to deploy their parachutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have six good canopies in the air. As you can see, the helicopter is currently flying towards the south. This is because the winds are going towards the north. We always do jump on facing into the wind to put our jumpers in the best area to succeed. Before getting in the aircraft, all jumpers must know what the winds are doing. Each jump is unique in that the winds are always changing. Right now at 5,000 feet, the winds are 14 knots. The winds at 1,000 feet are 14 knots as well. And on the grounds, the winds are only 4 knots. Easy wins for our experienced jumpers. This means that the jump, jumpers will most likely do a three-legged pattern towards the library. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that the winds are constantly changing, and jumpers are in constant communication with our ground NCOIC. So I'll keep you updated if anything changes. Our cadets are currently flying in what is called the holding area. The under canopy aspect of the skydive can be broken down into four parts. The holding area, down one leg, base leg, and final. These four aspects allow the cadets in the air right now to be able to land in front of you today with precision accuracy. The holding area today is towards the library. During this time, cadets are working to get into formation called the stack. Getting into this formation reduces any sort of confusion as it allows the jumpers to communicate with each other. These cadets have been working tirelessly to be able to perform these demonstrations as well as compete and win at the national level. This December, our cadets will fly down to Arizona to compete against our fellow service academies as well as civilian colleges such as UConn, Georgia Tech, and Iowa State. Cadets compete in events such as two-way, four-way, vertical flying, and accuracy. And ladies and gentlemen, our first jumper is now entering his down one leg. At this height, jumpers under canopy can definitely hear encouragement from the crowd. Let's get around, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in first, our team NCOIC with over 1,200 jumps is Sergeant First Class Anthony Rucker. Ladies and gentlemen, it's cold up there in the sky today, so let's get extra loud for Sergeant Rucker and warm him up a little bit. <laughs> Sitting in breaks, judging the target every second. He's letting it fly. Let's get loud one more time for Sergeant Rucker. Chicago, Illinois, with over 320 jumps, is going to have Will Shanahan with the yellow, black, and gray streamers. He's letting it fly in final. Let's give a round of applause for Cadet Shanahan. And coming in next, from Las Vegas, Nevada, with over 268 jumps, is going to have Jordan Hardy from Company G3. He's coming in final right now, judging the target. Waiting to flare until the last second. Let's get loud for Cadet Hardy. And coming in next for her first demonstration on the plane, flying the streamers from Apple Valley, Minnesota, with over 218 jumps. Let's get at Darby O'Neill. Let's get loud for Cadet O'Neill. Over a landing for Cadet O'Neill. From Hillsboro, Oregon, with over 219 jumps, let's get at Sid Bristle. She's sitting on her base leg right now in deep breaks. She's letting it fly. For her first demonstration on the plane, let's get loud for Ben Bristle. And finishing the demonstration, flying our nation's colors today, is our team captain, Cadet Edwin West from Wilmington, North Carolina, with over 275 jumps. 
and let's get loud for Cadet West. Great landing for Cadet West. Show your support for our jumpers again today. Let's give them another huge round of applause. On behalf of the Black Knights Parachute team, thank you for your support. Blue Skies, Joe Army, Beat Louisiana.